I'm on my way to Pisa where I'm going to uh, join the Oma 6 that I'm going to race on for the middle series. just the most stupid layover considering that I was in Palma, I went to London and now I'm going back to Italy, so yeah, not the best passage plan ever, but anyway, tonight I'll be on this trimarine that is like quite a legend, so that's going to be quite cool, and uh, try to you know, show, you see, show you this. As soon as I arrived, I joined the rest of the crew to prep the boat to sail to Malta. We were to join the Rolex Middle Sea Race, a famous offshore regatta. Since the boat had been recently refitted, there were still bits and pieces to finish tuning up and adjusting. <laughs> nice warm up, huh? Okay, three, three two, two, one. one. Are we missing tension on the Twenty-two knots at the moment, and uh, these guys from the Volvo Ocean Race gave me bad ideas. So I'm going to try to launch the drone and fly it. Yeah, so yeah. maybe it's the last flight yeah. of this guy. Siento tomo ya te pega, pero no fallar como la nace plan. Lo importante no es de pegue, sino que hace aterrizar. Dedo de medio le enseño a la realeza real. Soy, no siento bufón de su salón de mesa. Un desierto en medio de la nada. Viva la revolución y como si no hay camarada. Universal es el mundo que desean. Defiendo mi trinchero, un ojo abierto siempre la odisea.
Mo. Stop. Yeah, maybe just is maybe one centimeter of alier, no more. I came up here to do another fixing on this mast. Now it's down. Yep. Yep. Going all the way down. But what was nice. Now I need to hold. Otherwise, it's gonna crash. That's the Mediterranean, doesn't matter how good of a boat you have, always end up motoring. This morning we were like flying at 22 knots into 15 knots of breeze and now there is like one knot of wind so we're not like, so, so we're not moving at all and we're motoring at 5 knots an hour. So yeah, hope the wind comes in at some point but it's probably going to come on the nose and quite strong, so <laughs> wouldn't be ideal either. But yeah, that's it. It is extremely addictive to average 20 knots of boat speed. The feeling of acceleration is something not really common on bigger sailboats, and being able to steer such a powerful boat is just amazing. But the greater the speed, the greater the impact. Loads on such a boat is huge, and so is tension, wearing, and every constraint that a cruising boat is facing is just much greater on a race boat. So basically we have a uh, mainsail problem and uh, we are rerouting now to a harbor on the coast to see if we can fix that and then we'll reassess the situation. It's wet, it's uh, moving, it's uh, sailing. Never what you expect. Unfortunately, we could not fix the boat in time to join the middle series. It was a race that I wanted to join for a long time and I was quite disappointed. But sailing makes you realize that kind of things. That the sea is stronger than you and it will always have the last word. And maybe it's why I love sailing so much. <laughs>